Hey, check me out. I'm on my stool again. Thank you very much. You guys hearing that? Say again. Oh, didn't they tell you this is an instrumental set? High over the mountain goes. I waved at you when you hit the disappearing point. Turned in for the night the next day around 10. I caught the sweet scent of your hair on my pillowcase. Felt so much in love. I felt like myself again. Someday the only thing I want to rely I want to rely upon Is any available surface That you've rested your head on Back in the cave I traced The arc of our awakening Shimmering down in the darkness Like hidden gold and I said my secret to myself out loud again We may live to see miracles If our faith can hold Someday the only thing I want to rely upon Is any available surface That you've rested your head on I cannot tell you how insanely comfortable it is to be on my stool again. You, I don't know how many of you go back how far, but I used to kind of live on the stool. And then, then it came time to stand up because you look sort of ridiculous sitting on the stool surrounded by other people, you know, bassists standing up. Though that didn't stop me from doing it that way for about seven years. But, uh, but no, he's actually texting me right now. Stand the fuck up. <laughs> The summer crawled by indetectably and then I saw you looking down to me and your earrings sparkled in the noonday sun and though it's very true that I love everyone with every ounce of energy left in me I love you especially cause I saw you coming through the screen door, the screen door Up on the second floor, up on the balcony It was hard to even see you at all Because the air was thick with alcohol So I kept on rubbing my eyes for all the good it did me For all the measurable good it did me Let the years come and wash away my memories I will not forget the shock That rang through me When I saw you Coming through The screen door On the second floor Up on the balcony That's how that song ends. <laughs> so I should warn you, for those of you who don't, uh, you know, aren't old. Uh, you know, though I myself am not old. I'm just, but well, anyway. Uh, there's a lot of songs on this uh, set list that are extraordinarily old, and it, 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 <laughs> but. If even once during the tour I go on shortly, some guy who wants to hear one of these songs, 
yells the title of it after every song in my set list in the hopes that that will, I guess, endear me to the request. <laughs> I, I'm holding you guys personally responsible for that guy. His, his, his deal is now your deal, right? You don't have to tell him I played these things. You could lie. Uh, you, could, you could just say, oh, yeah, no, I went. It was all the, you know, we like the songs, but this isn't really nothing special, nothing. They're going to hang me out to dry. They're going to hang me out to dry. I don't really care I don't really care I got special shoes on got special shoes shoes they're gonna fill me full of holes They're gonna fill me full of holes I don't give a rat's ass I don't give a rat's ass, you rat bastards I got special shoes on I got special shoes on yeah. one is still young enough to not be as sloppy as the really old ones. Uh. We're alone most of the time these days. Gail used to come by, but she went away. Jill used to come around and trash the joint, but she went off to Dana Point. And you came along just for the ride, and you both committed suicide. And death is breaking over cops, Cork Bay. I've never seen anything like it in my life. give birth and her cows are snow white They huddle up close together at night And the mama cow leans down and cleans her young Licking their faces with her tongue, with her tongue. Yes, some unmarked airplanes buzz the air And you're falling off that cliff somewhere in California Which I've never seen I put the pieces on together but I don't know what they mean And day is breaking All the cops cook bay And I've never seen anything like it in my life
thank you very much. So, uh, this, uh, thank you very much. When I say thank you for coming, I mean, I mean it every time, but this is a benefit for a, a family violence place run by, uh, <laughs> run by an old friend of mine who I was mad crushed out on in the sixth grade and, uh, <laughs> and, and remains worthy of such crushing still. However, I'm a married man, so. Uh, but, but anyway, uh, so, yeah, I've been thinking for weeks. Like, what do I say? What do I say as a guy who uh, had the dubious pleasure of, of seeing his mother beaten by, uh, by, my, by his stepfather uh, about these songs uh, that are about, I mean, I've been there. Organizations that are helping people get out of the kind of situation that I lived in when I was young are doing God's work. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Thank you for Yeah, so this is a, another one of those up-tempo numbers about domestic violence. All right, I'm on Johnson Avenue in San Luis Obispo, and I'm five years old, I'm six maybe, and indications that there's something wrong with our new house. Trip down the wire twice daily I'm in the living room watching the water gate hearings While my stepfather yells at my mother Launches a glass across the room Straight at her head and I dash upstairs to take cover Lean in close to my little record player on the floor So this is what the volume knob is for I listen to dance Music Dance Music There's another verse coming, but no, I have another guitar behind me. This won't take long at all. Okay, so look, I'm 17 years old. So, so hold on one second while I re repatch things. Um. Okay, I used to, before I could even tune my guitar in any way, when it would fall out of tune, I would take it to the Folk Music Center. And I'm going to drop a name here, and I would say to my friend Ben Harper, who I went to grade school with, Ben, would you tune my guitar for me? And he would say, sure, John, you know, I mean, it's really not that hard to do. <laughs> well, I think we know who won that fight. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so exciting to be in tune in a second. Streak the windows, smear the walls with coconut oil, yeah. Fill a cast iron kettle with water and magnolia blossom. Let it boil, let the water run. Let the day take its toll, I'm coming home. Dust off the idols, give them something to eat. I think they're hungry. I know I'm starving half to death. I know you're waiting. I know you've been waiting for a long, long time, and I'm coming home.
Set the table, those three extra places One for me, one for your doubts, one for God Let the incense burn in every room See the fullness of time in the empty tomb Feel the future kicking in your womb I'm coming home I'm coming safe way just before the flood huffed some cans of spray paint and began to vomit blood oh shoot <laughs> one more night in this town is gonna break me I just know Hang on to your dreams till someone makes you let them go. Stumbled on down Indian Hill, tail between my legs. Sick taste in my mouth, Folgers, crystals, and hard boiled eggs. If I can't run away tonight, I don't know what I'll do. Hang on to your dreams till someone beats them out of you. Do what you have to do. Go where you have to go When the time comes to loosen up your grip, you'll know Called my friend in New York Three thousand miles away Halfway, halfway through her metamorphosis Nothing I could say Hoard my small resentments Like rare and priceless gems Hang on to your dreams Until there's nothing left of them excited in the song, right? And then I think, man, if you guys hated tuning break, wait till we have to have restringing break. That makes tuning break look like a walk in the park. A very short walk in the park.
I went down Yale today Just in the old way And a black dog hobbled past me His tags jangled on his collar It made me wish I was dead It made me wish I was dead Familiar sun on me, just like it would always be. Rocky soil, dry land. I knew it all like the back of my hand. It made me wish I was dead. It, ma it made me wish I was dead. Terrific view from here Sky's clean here Sun's high I let things line I know what is and isn't mine And it was good to get back to the sunshine But five years is a long time and I spent five years in Sweden dying for you. I spent five years in Sweden dying for you. I'm trying to figure out the chords on this next one. Because um, I didn't really, I put down a lot of songs that I never play. <laughs> I think, oh, you should maybe have learned to play those songs. We sit in front of a bunch of people. <laughs> I'm close though. Oh, yeah. Saw the long row of bluebells Saw the foxglove and the nightshade I saw the whole garden And I thought a while about it And I thought a while about How I've been waiting for you Since the second grade The flowers made the air boil The boiling air made me think of you a while I did not come here to suffer I did not come here to suffer I heard the ducks all quacking Saw the sunshine on the lake I saw you standing by the water I wondered how long I'd be paying for one big mistake The sight of you was really something else But I don't know what that something else was I did not come here to suffer I did not come here to suffer butcher this song that I know is dear to my friend Erin, so I want to try and play it for her, but I know that I don't. Every time I play it, I fuck it up. So, <laughs> uh, uh, I, oh, well, no sweat, man. <laughs> uh, but, but, uh, well, shoot, I was going to say something really cranky and disagreeable. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I want to ruin uh, those, I saw people singing with those songs, and as is known to people who follow my uh, online tantrums, um, 
that was from an uh, album that I didn't wind up releasing, uh, and it remained blissfully unreleased, and uh, the only perfect object in my life, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> uh, object, I should say. There's plenty of people in my life who are better than perfect, but, uh, but, but to me, the idea of actually going through with making a record and then letting it die unheard by anyone, oh. <laughs> It seems like the greatest thing a man could do. <laughs> and, and I was that great man until it leaked. But then its dirty secret was that it's mastered at a terrible speed. It just sounds horrible. It's not any good. But, but because it was secret and because I got mad when it got out, people insist, like, the more I insist, no, no, it's, really, it's bad. I, I, I could have made it well, but I had the wrong machine, so it's bad. The more loudly I proclaim its badness, the more entrenched the opposition becomes, and say, oh no, it's, it's gotta be really good if he hates it that much. <laughs> but trust me, if, it, if you heard the original cassette, you'd know that it's all at entirely the wrong speed. So please, if you listen to that, open up Audacity and pitch correct it. So you're actually listening to something that isn't, that isn't, that what isn't done on a machine that needs to be recalibrated. So that's the end of my cranky rant. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> Oh, yeah. And you're also all sworn to secrecy about the songs because I sure do not want people on the tour going, well, you played it for San Francisco. Yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, let's hear it. I will sail to the far shore. I will chop a hole in the hull too big to repair. And I will till the soil with my hands and I will make my home there my garden will grow so high my garden will grow so high that I will be completely hidden I will go, I will go, where I will go, and I will jettison all dead weight. I will, I can't read that from here. <laughs> ah. That's right. <laughs> and I will use these words for kindling. I will sleep by the garden gate. My garden will grow so high. My garden will grow so high that I will be completely hidden. Thank you so much. Has anybody besides Nall noticed what the trick to the set list is tonight? That one was Island Garden Song. The one before that was Hello Old Rabbit. The one before that was, the one before that was Ghosts. So what's coming next? No, it must start with a J. <laughs> you roared into the driveway of our Southwestern Ranch style house on a new Kawasaki, chrome yellow and black. Fresh out of the showroom Our house faced west So the new orange sun Positioned at your back They hit up your magnificent
percent still all right how much better how much better could my life get 900 cubic centimeters of raw whining power no outstanding warrants for my arrest whoa 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 the pirate's life for me Toward the horizon, we were the one thing in the galaxy God didn't have his eyes on. 900 cc's of raw whining power, no outstanding warrants for my arrest. Hi diddle dee dee, god damn, the pirate's life for me. Anybody care to venture a guess as to the K song? No, it's a trick question. I couldn't find one that I thought was worth a damn, so I skipped K. <laughs> King Saul fell on his sword when it all went wrong. And Joseph's, river, Joseph's mother sold him down the river for a song. And Sonny Liston rubbed some tiger balm into his glove. Some things you'll do for money, and some you'll do for a lot. Raskolnikov felt sick, but he couldn't say why When he saw his face reflected in his victim's twinkling eyes Some things you'll do for money, and some you'll do for fun But the things you do for love are gonna come back to you one by one Love, love is gonna lead you by the hand Into a white and soundless place Now we see things As in a mirror dimly Then we shall see each other
what's weird is when people yell monkey song like in foreign countries. Because the monkey song is a nonsense song. So I wonder, do they think it has a broader meaning? <laughs> my, my favorite theory is that they think it's political. <laughs> I'm not going to play that song right now. Because it does not begin with N. I skipped the M. So I, so I could get to the N. <laughs> I hope that our few remaining friends give up on trying to save us. I hope we come up with a fail-safe plot to piss off the dumb few that forgave us. I hope the fences we mended fall down beneath their own weight. And I hope I hang on past the last exit. I hope it's already too late. And I hope the junkyard a few blocks from here someday burns down. I hope the rising black smoke carries me far away And I never come back to this town again In my life I hope I lie And tell everyone you were a good wife And I hope you die I hope we both die Self-shaming tomorrow I hope it bleeds all day long I hope it bleeds all day long Our friends say it's darkest Before the sun rises Well, we're pretty sure they're all wrong I hope it stays dark forever I hope the worst isn't over And I hope you blink before I do I hope I never get sober And I would hope when you think of me Years down the line You can't find one good thing to say I hope that if I found the strength to walk out, you'd stay the hell out of my way. I am drowning. There is no sign of land. You're all coming down with me as a hand in a lovable hand. And I hope you die. I hope we all. Thank you. This song involves less yelling and screaming, I gotta be honest with you. But I played it last night and I told a very long story about it and I'm just really fond of this one. Uh, it's, it, did I, okay, let me just be the teacher. Who, who was at the Herbst last night? Did I tell you guys at length who Ox Baker is? Uh, do you mind hearing the story again for those who missed it? So, I'm really conscious of that. If you, you should go get a drink if you mind. Right? So, but, uh, but I'm really conscious of that because if you go see a band twice and you hear the exact same patter, to me, you know, this arouses a murderous rage in me. And I'm not going back to prison. I'm But yeah, but when I was a kid, I was really into pro wrestling. And, uh, no, that's true. But pro wrestling was like a very, very cheap game in those days. There was no, like, there were not script writers working on the ideal tagline for the guy to have when he makes his entry with the big lighting rigs and, and the fire pots and everything. There was just a wrestling room. I was a boxing ring <laughs> they're using for wrestling. And in the Olympic Auditorium, and, and some lights. It's kind of about it. It was kind of the indie rock of sports. It was like, it, you know. And the people who showed up thought it was the greatest thing in the world, but everybody else didn't think so. <laughs> uh, and, and the way it worked was, in LA, we had a very, very, very 
unimportant bunch of wrestlers who nobody ever heard of outside of Southern California and maybe a little bit in Arizona. Right? But in every wrestling market, there comes a time when some guy swears if he loses a match, he's going to leave town, and you'll never see him again. Right? And, uh, and what happens when a guy does this is it means he had family to visit someplace. <laughs> and he needed a month off. You know? Maybe he had something going on in his life. So he's in the New York market, and he says to a then young entrepreneur named Vince McMahon, hey, Vince, you know, I need, I, I got to go to California, uh, see some people. Can, can you set me up some dates out there? And Vince would say, yeah, oh, yeah, no, there's an organization out there. And so suddenly this guy you've only seen in the magazines is being interviewed. And he seems to have some beef with our local wrestlers. But even as a kid, you go, well, you don't know any of our guys. Nobody out here has ever heard of you except me because I make my mom buy me the wrestling magazines, you know? I mean, otherwise, you're just some guy, and you're all mad at Chavo Guerrero, who never, never did a thing to you, right? But, but his anger was contagious because it was senseless, because it seemed to originate in itself. It was a perfect emotional feedback loop, right? Ox Baker comes out and says, I'm going to defeat Chavo Guerrero, my hero, right? And, but I liked him because he's, he just, he came out so filled with hatred. He was just going to do it. He never heard of us or our piddly little L.A. franchise. And he started talking. And what came out was just blind, incoherent, and I mean that in a real sense, rage. And the line that I'm always quoting that he said, because this was when I learned from my stepfather what the word inarticulate meant. Because in a, in a good moment between the two of us, I was watching Ox Baker and trying to figure out what the hell he was talking about. And my stepfather goes, look, he said, oh, that's so sad. And I said, why is it sad? He said, well, he's inarticulate. He can't, being interviewed is really not a thing for him, but he has to, <laughs> has to do it anyway. So, <laughs> so what Ox Baker said to we, the, the viewing audience of Los Angeles, was when I tell you that the blood is going to run from Chavo Guerrero's eyes, you better come down to ringside and bring your handkerchief so you can dip it in the blood. <laughs> My stage patter aspires to the condition of this great <laughs> utterance. So anyway, this song envisions Ox Baker having been kicked out of you know, having been told we have no more use for you here in Florida, so you go find a gig someplace else, and, and Ox taking the whole thing kind of rather more seriously, and thinking, you know, I'm actually, maybe I'm actually going to have to wrestle these people to prove my point to them. It's called Ox Baker Triumphant. <laughs> I will rise from the swamp Where they dumped my private plane I'll be clutching a life preserver In my teeth And I will find the highway And I will flag down a truck Worry lines on my forehead Blank stare underneath And when I come back to town I'm gonna cast my burden down Little worse for wear Practically walking on air I will thank my ride And claw my way back inside To the guts of the building Where my enemies Hide in the dark like roaches And I will signal the camera crew And everyone will do what he's been trained How to do sweat dripping from my face As my moment approaches Click your heels, count to three I bet you never expected me Little worse for wear Practically walking on
I mean, the thing is, I didn't want to really do 26 songs. So as I came down toward the latter half of the alphabet, the trash letters, as we call them, Okay, I totally ripped that joke off from Saturday Night Live in 1977. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but, uh, yeah, I just started kicking letters out randomly. You want to hear Prana Firex? I'll play Prana Firex. Hmm. Shockingly similar to Ox Baker Triumphant. I went down to the basement to check up on the sour match. I looked down into the non reactive ceramic tub. It was bubbling. I had stirred up the dust on the stairs coming down. I saw the dust devils swarming around. Incoming sunbeams cut them apart. And I watched a shadow pass across my heart. You were upstairs in the kitchen. With your head against the sink Trying to cool down Trying to cool down Roses are the pleasures of the flesh and These ones here, they are the pleasures of the spirit and Tucked behind a pornographic picture in a frame The troops found the pierced heart and they all gathered near it And the dust clouds bloomed in the dark face gazed out from the frame Room full of French troops in a Franciscan abbey History does not recall their names Of the several things that you have to do today You're gonna regret one This generation asks for a sign It isn't gonna get one Bertha took the picture to the priest And the priest fell on his face upon the floor And the story lived on for a decade or two But no one really knows it anymore But the sacred heart is present in the airbrush and the sacred heart is beating on the wind And the bodies of the faithful stacked by dozens on the roadsides Stripped and scorched and skinned Of the several things that you have to do today You're gonna regret one This generation asks for a sign It's never gonna get one
Okay, so, um, look, it's, it's impossible on a rock and roll stage to say this. Well, it's impossible to say it at all. But, uh, <laughs> I'm going to try it anyway. You know how if you go to see Warrant, <laughs> as we do, but if you go to see Warren in 1987, and, and Warren's big and famous, and they're in the big old arena, and they're playing Where the Down Boys Go. They want to know where the down boys go. <laughs> they never find out. That's, this, this is the tragedy of Warren, I feel. Uh, but, uh, but you go see the Warren and White Lion package, and, uh, and you sit through White Lion, because you really want to see Warren. And, uh, and, uh, and at some point after they've been playing for an hour and a half, you know, and you've probably gotten your money's worth and maybe you hired a babysitter and you want to send the babysitter home. Or, you know, or maybe you just want to go home. Just stuff to do at home. Home's nice. <laughs> and the singer from Warrant, Janie Lane, uh, says, <laughs> says, do you guys want to hear some more? <laughs> but, but this is like rhetorically speaking, it's not even a question at all. It's, it's his announcement that he's not done and he intends to subject you to his music for at least another half hour. I've been sitting here haranguing you guys for quite a while now, it seems. But I don't say that in order to get you to tell me that you like me. Right? It's all good with me if y'all, I got three left, but I could push it to six. But seriously, man, it's like, if I was sleeping with you, I wouldn't ask you to tell me that my penis is bigger than it is. Right? And I'm not asking you now to ask for more songs if you actually want to go get some air. Are you cool with some songs? Okay. Let's get this one out of the way. I broke free on a Saturday morning. I put the pedal to the floor. Headed north up Mills Avenue and listened to the engine roar. A girl named Kathy wants a little of my time Six cylinders underneath the hood Crashing and kicking, yeah, listen to the engine whine I am gonna make it through this year If it kills me I am gonna make it through this year If it kills me Young. Hurt my knuckles punching the machines The taste of scotch rich on my tongue If it kills me, I am gonna make it through this year. If it kills me, I drove home in the California dusk. I could feel the alcohol inside of me. Hum, picture the look on my stepfather's face. Ready for the bad things to come. I downshifted as I turned into the driveway. The motor's screaming out, stuck in, stuck in gear. The scene ends badly, as you might imagine. In a cavalcade of anger and fear, there will be feasting and dancing in 
Jerusalem next year I am gonna make it through this year If it kills me I am gonna make it through this year If it kills me show of hands because the because the, the doing it by show of yelling has never actually worked I, I, I have an idea I don't really know if I know that song though it could just end it could really disrupt our momentum but it's a good song uh, if you would like to hear me attempt one that I may or may not know at all if you would rather hear me play something you're sure I know be, no, but be honest, man. That's cool. That's a cool position. I totally understand that. I, <laughs> and I'm trying to think of like, I, you know, I, at the end of the last tour, I rewarded myself by flying to uh, Tennessee to see one of my favorite artists, Amy Grant. And uh, it was so awesome. I can't even begin to tell you how rad it was. Right? If she had spent more than two songs fumbling through stuff she didn't know, I would have been mad. I paid a lot of money to go see the Amy Grant show. That's a tiny little airport I had to fly to, right? So she did, in fact, however, attempt to play Grape Grape Joy. So those of you who have any Amy in your background, that was phenomenal because that song is terrible. It's just, no, I mean, nobody likes it. And, she, and she, somebody yelled for it, and she was a trooper anyway, so. What do you want to hear? It's, it's, that, it's this one. In the five minutes were the last time that I had When I was passed out on the supermarket floor I saw you at the head of a heavenly chorus And I heard your voice ringing all through the storm In the five minutes when I was lost to the world I saw you touch down, you were no longer dead I was happy to see you, I had lots of questions And I touched my hand to the wound on your head All the blood, all of that blood All of that warm blood flowing freely from you In the five minutes when my broadcast got preempted In a place far away from my heads and my home I saw you at the head of the heavenly chorus Amidst all the glass and the cans and the chrome In those five minutes, my signal was jammed And the frequencies that I received were so pure That I almost believed that the sight of the wound in your skull Was a thing that my heart could endure All of the blood All of that blood All of that warm blood flowing freely from you Pretty sure I can play it without having even thought of it, because it's just that stupid. Uh, <laughs> kind of can't believe I'm going to play this song, but it's too late to turn back now. Uh, 
this is either standard bitter love song number one or two. <laughs> I tried to turn it into a Snowfish Killing song. It's a much better song. I'm not going to say what I came over to say to you, but you were thinking along the same lines and you let the words come said that to you I wouldn't say it if they paid me it if they paid me to you got no manners you got no manners at all you got no manners you got no manners you got no manners at all you got no manners I'm gonna try really gonna do it it's like one of those chinese kites flying in the wind and then some kid with a shotgun sends a bullet through it and i, I came here to say it that i've done that before and i would never have told you i don't love you anymore you got no manners you got no manners at all you got no manners you got no manners you got no manners at all you got as if he hadn't gotten his point across. You got no manners. You got no manners at all. You got no manners. Thank you so much. I know. <laughs> you were telling me. <laughs> People say the old songs were better. I say, if by better you mean stupid. <laughs> but, but, uh, not an invalid position, I guess. Uh, I don't know how to do beach house. <laughs> Okay, so I fucking practiced that song. It's also stupid. But, but now you listen to me now. Oh man. I want to condense this rant into one sentence of great passion, you know, but that communicates my true feelings in a way that doesn't make me come off like an asshole. You know. I'm gonna play this goddamn song. If I hear from one person outside of this room that they heard that I played that song, so then they feel that I should also play it for them, I will be angry with the person who had to, and I, like I see a glow of some back there. If you're pointing a cell phone camera at me and I catch you, I'm gonna flush it. I will interrupt the song to take the cell phone to the bathroom. Because I, I don't mind playing it once in a while, but as I think I said last night, you know, if you do, you know, song, oh, here's a song about my friend who hung himself. Let me play that song for you. Golden Boy! No, that's, I hate that, right? So, but anyway, this is called Golden Boy. You must try to lead a good life You must do unto others As you would have them do So that when you die You'll find golden boy peanuts Waiting in the afterlife for you Thine enemy oppresseth thee, 
you must let him oppress you some more so that when you die you'll feast on golden boy peanuts bags and bags flowing home from Singapore with the drawing of the young Chinese farmer setting sun behind him gazing at you from the shelves if from the shelves if we want to spend eternity in paradise we're gonna have to watch ourselves you must give to the march of dimes you must be on guard against wickedness at all times and you will find that your efforts have brought you great joy when your dead shade is munching on that golden boy there are no pan asian supermarkets down in hell so you can't So you can't buy golden boy peanuts. There are no pan Asian supermarkets down in hell. So you can't buy golden boy peanuts. Go. I really feel I should play a good song to make up for My love is like a powder keg My love is like a powder keg In the corner of an empty warehouse Somewhere just outside of town About to burn down Cuban plane flying from Havana up the Florida coast to the glade Soviet made. My love is like the border between Greece and Albania. My love is like the border between Greece and Albania. Mack trucks loaded down with weapons. Crossing over every night, moon yellow and bright. There is a shortage in the blood supply, but there is no shortage of blood. 
mine The way I feel about you, baby, can't explain it Yeah, you got the best of my love Yeah, you bet. <laughs>
This is, uh, I said, <laughs> because, because I, I have tape of what I'm about to describe for you. And the, the tape has taken the place of Hale and Farewell Gothenburg, the unjustly leaked terrible thing, right? So I had to find something else that was greatly secret. But lucky for me, I went to visit my family and I found my, that my friend Tom, I'd forgotten about it, had videotaped the first time that Rachel and I came up to San Francisco and played at the Thirsty Swede. If, uh, it had been called Night Break before that. Yeah, the Thirsty, yeah, it was, it was bumping. Refrigerator was there. And then it was a third band, and I can't remember who it was, and my apologies to them, but it, it was 40 years ago. So, uh, <laughs> uh, But anyway, you know, I look at the tape, and there's this little guy, because I was littler then, and uh, uh, with a guitar that has no pickup in it, and is, to all intents and purposes, worthless. Uh, but but I'm, and I'm pretty nervous. I can see that I'm nervous. And I have my crew cut that I loved so much that but my wife, who I later met, hated. And so that the crew cut had to go. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is the first song I ever played for a San Francisco audience. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> On the morning you went away The air was humid and the sky was gray I had boiled peanuts for breakfast from Cairo, Georgia The air was wet, my face was wetter You are long gone I had boiled peanuts for breakfast From Cairo, Georgia I popped the top off the aluminum can Let the brine slide down my fingers Man, it was warm It was warm on my skin but I felt the cold blast moving on in I had boiled peanuts for breakfast from Cairo, Georgia Thank you, good night band so much that it's hard for me to believe you guys are even serious, but I really appreciate that, you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> I think my favorite line in all film is uh, uh, when drunk Arthur Dudley Moore <laughs> giggles about something and, 
and instead of saying another funny thing, says, sometimes I just think funny things. <laughs> and, and I thought that because I had this brief, I have a theory about ideas that they're like dreams that like, you maybe get a little wisp of an idea that you never bear out, but there's actually a whole thought in there. And what I thought was like, wow, wouldn't it be really funny to play my songs and then have a bunch of fake songs for the encore that were really bad on purpose, <laughs> that were like wry observations on how the internet is weird. You know? <laughs> you know, like, you know, stuff, about, stuff about how grandparents say the darndest things. <laughs> I won't be doing that. That would be a poor use of my time, I feel, but the thought was there. Um. When I was 12 years old, they put me on the throne. When I was 12 years old, They made me king From the ocean south of here To the northern hemisphere They gave me everything Now I'm 13 And no one takes me seriously Now I'm 13 And they're trying to take away control I don't know how stupid you all think I am but as sure as flowers grow along the western wall so heads are gonna roll I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like uh, take a call back to the person who play what you want to play because I, I was thinking it from the same stuff. Playing. Well, that's what I'm gonna play. It's not really appropriate song for encore. Don't care. That dream shook me in my sleep And I woke up sweating Ran through the dark to the shower Already forgetting Try to think good thoughts Try to find my way clear Let the room fill with steam Traced pictures on the mirror Ghosts and clouds And nameless things Squint your eyes and hope real hard Maybe sprout wings Bits of my dream like figures in the distance Hard to hold, I thought of old friends 
the ones who'd gone missing. I said all your names three times. Phantoms in the early dark. Canaries in the mines, ghosts and clouds, and nameless things. Squint your eyes and hope real hard. Maybe sprout wings. I'm going to play one more, and then we should all rest. It's, it's rest is it's so important. I spent most of my 20s thinking it wasn't. <laughs> but I was wrong about rest. I gave rest a bad rep. I counseled many people against resting, and I would like to say to them, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a song about hope in your life. There is a magnificent Mark Eitzel song title. It is important throughout life to proclaim your joy. It's also important to admit on occasion to the righteousness of your fury, the justness of your cause in the face of those who would do you wrong and who would rob you of your youth and who would ignore what's good and beautiful in you. And I know this is all corny platitude stuff, but I know people who got sent to places and it sucked for them. You can't even say how bad it was. Kirk Fitzpatrick, I remember when they sent you away, man. This is for you. The best ever death metal band out of Denver was a couple of guys who'd been friends since grade school. One was named Cyrus and the other was Jeff and they would practice twice a week in Jeff's bedroom. Yeah. The best ever death metal band out of Denton Never settled on a name But the top three contenders Some of which have now been used Were Satan's fingers And the killers And the hospital bombers <laughs> Jeff and Cyrus believed in their hearts That they were headed for stage lights And Lear jets And fortune and fame So in script that made prominent use of a pentagram They would stencil their drum heads and their guitars with their names And this was how Cyrus got sent off to the school in Utah Where they told him he would never be famous And this was why Jeff, in the letters he'd write to his friend Helped develop a plan to get even When you punish a person for dreaming his dream Don't expect him to thank or forgive you the best ever death metal band out of ten will in time both outpace and outlive you. Sing it! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Tonight! Hail Satan! Good night.